Okay, so as you just saw, you saw most of my vitals for today. Um, fortunately, I forgot to sync my Keto Mojo with my phone before I came out here running errands. So, uh, right now, we're just waiting for her mom to come back from her dentist appointment. But, <laughs> hey, Aiden. Okay, okay. But I remember my glucose was at about a 155 or so, and my ketones were down to, I believe, 0.6 or 0.7. Or up to 0.6, 0.7. I forgot yesterday's number just that quickly. But yeah, that's where I'm currently at. Um, currently, you're approximately 17 hours in, so not much. Haven't done much exercise yet, just a bunch of chores this morning. I'm going to walk up and down the steps when I get back home and walk around the house again. Uh, try to kill the glycogen I got in me in to keep the step back going. But yeah, outside of that, I mean, feeling fine. Uh, I mainly just have my supplements for the day. I'm drinking San Pellegrino all day. Well, just this one bottle. As you see, I am almost done. So, <laughs> uh, I didn't think I was going to finish with her being in the dentist's office, but I forgot how long this could take. And we would go home, but because of the dis distance from the dentist's office to home, we would be leaving probably about 20 to 30 minutes after getting home to come back out here. And it's not worth it to waste that sort of gas um, to drive back and forth. But yeah. Ooh. But yeah, outside of that, um, everything's good. I'm sorry that the videos were uploading late. I'm trying to figure out a balance here. Oh, yeah, you should see a balance here with everything. And yeah, I'm sorry I'm not as presentable as I should be right now. I just did not finish cleaning up from this morning. This has just been a very rushed, very hectic morning. But I'm trying to figure out how to get these videos out more quickly while still maintaining accountability. Um, I'm going to have myself on video doing the actual weigh-ins at least once a week, but keep the numbers popping up at the beginning or at the end like they are now. So um, that way you can just see me doing it live, but or at least see me doing it real, kind of real time. Uh, outside of that, um, just getting into things beyond just just the vitals. Uh, you see life uh been <laughs> throwing quite a bit things have been getting busy uh i've been a a bit off at least as far as keeping things rolling i'm hoping that i'm back on track now it feels like i'm back on track now i'm trying to i'm trying to stay you know manageable perfect but not, not necessarily perfect but i'm just trying to stay on track um See, we brought my daughter out here while, you know, her mother is in there getting her teeth worked on. She finished school in the car. It was kind of like doing it at home. We didn't have a TV to cast her tablet to, so we couldn't see much. Um, outside of that, I mean, cleaned up the house. There was quite a bit of cleaning. Well, ton of dishes to clean up from yesterday, as you saw from the last video. Um, I made most of those dishes uh, with me eating only every three to four days or so. It's kept the dish count down quite a bit since I'm the main cooker in the house. Uh, not that every, not that nobody else cooks. It's just I do most of it. Like my daughter's food, all her meals are prepped for the week. Uh, there are slight variances in there based upon what she likes to have changed or whatever. But overall, it's it's an easy structure to keep to. Uh, well, as her mom, her mom. Yeah, some some days she cooks for herself, some days she doesn't, some days we cook for each other, but most of us are trying to find an easier way out. Um, so the school stuff, I'm running all these errands and cleaning today. Uh, let's see, what else is going on? Just, yeah, the step back. So uh, I spoke a lot about it in the last video while I was actually walking around. And, you know, it's not that bad. I... I forced myself to do a bit more than I would have yesterday. I came in at, at over 10,000 steps yesterday. Because I had to say, you know, I'm not going to have the downtime where I'm just sitting waiting for, or, you know, food to finish or just watching it. So that's why I was walking in a circle. Like, I can make my time more productive. And if I hadn't have done that, um, I probably would have just been close to just having a normal day. But still would have been enough to stay in the step back. But I am in it with this group called The Black Experience on Facebook. Uh, very specifically, their health sub group, and uh, it's been a pretty fun start. Just first week that we're on here is really just getting used to things, and yeah, I've been kind of lazy. I mean, last year I was hitting you know ten to fifteen thousand steps more easily, but 
past few months or so on Fitbit, I am barely doing three to 5,000 steps a day if I'm not prompted to do so. So I've gotten lazy and I'm, <laughs> I'm getting back in, getting back on schedule here. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to keep catching her on camera. We're just sitting here in the car while we're waiting, but. Oh, let's see. I think I may catch some footage of me, me and Aiden playing Just Dance to put up in a video coming up later this week. Or if I'm not going to do that, I'm going to cover a bit more of the exercise that I'm doing besides just the walking, maybe some of the stair walking, maybe some of the other things that I'm doing. Um, I have other projects and things I'm doing that aren't health related, but because they're either early on or they're in a state that I'm not happy with sharing, I'm not going into them too much. Like I will state that I'm using uh, so my programming knowledge to work on an RPG, but one is very ugly, or rather, it's not ugly. I have to use pre-made access because I'm not an artist and because I don't have the money to pay somebody to do art. And while I'm learning how to draw and how to better, you know, work on my art, it's not going to be pretty. It may not even get released. It was something I was hoping I could release. I may end up doing it anyway, but it takes a long time to make a video game let alone a good one. So I would hate to toss out something that's just trash, but it is something that I've been working on. Uh, it's called The Eighth. It's about the eighth. It's about a story revolving around what the game is going to define as the eighth sin. And it's just, it's oh, simple aspiration, different tales. Yeah, I sound very vague and generic about it. I actually modeled the game a bit after Ultima 5 in some ways. Where you have the different virtues, but they're in reverse and based upon the sins. But the progression and how you deal with people in the town is not Ultima related. Or rather, it is only related to Ultima in a very superficial manner when you look at it in that way. I'm trying to do my own thing there. I'm hoping I can have something to show uh, by the end of the year. So <laughs> it's way too early to really be talking about it. But thank you all for tuning in. Um, I don't know if you want to hear about anything else. I'm trying not to be boring here. But thanks a lot. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.